Hi everyone, this is Jeanette with Janda Panda Treasures and today I have for you an interesting um, item. It might not be interesting for some folks who are right around my age, but it is kind of interesting to see, um, a re I would say a relic from the past. This is a, um, I would call it an antique. Um, this is a telephone made by Western Electric. It's called the 302 model. It was designed by Henry Dreyfus. Uh, and you can look up Henry Dreyfus. He designed trains and uh, a lot of the Western Electric telephones. I'm not sure what else he designed, but um, this is one of his designs. And he worked with Western Electric designing uh, telephones, um, oh gosh, through the 80s, I think. Um, they used his model um, and just specifically for Western Electric. So this uh, is a antique, an antique um, telephone and um, this is pre-World War II and it is dated approximately 1939. There are other components in here that are other dates but as telephones are uh, maintained, they change parts within the telephone. Um, so, but for the most part, um, it is 1939-ish and pre-World War II. It, and because um, you don't even need to look at the dates on the phone to know that it's pre-World War II because it is mostly made of metal. And uh, when World War II started, they stopped using um, metal uh, because they needed it to manufacture planes and other items for World War II. So this phone has a heavy metal base. This telephone itself weighs six and a half pounds. That's pretty heavy for a telephone. I mean, it is heavy. So the base is made of metal. The dial is made of metal. The hook switch is metal. Uh, most of it is metal. The handset itself is made of Bakelite. And I, I know that all these uh, older telephones have a nice heavy Bakelite um, handset, which is what this is called. It has a earpiece and a uh, it's called a receiver and what's this called? Mm -hmm. Transmitter. Receiver, transmitter. And so this particular piece is Bakelite. So I put a little bit of semi-chrome on a paper towel and um, I am going to show you that it is Bakelite because semi-chrome, you can um, do a Bakelite. So anyway, so see, turned that color. So when you're testing bracelets and things like that for Bakelite, that's the color you're looking for is that color. Okay, so this is a well-used phone, and let me get to the telephone number. I don't have any problem showing the telephone number to everyone because this telephone number is disconnected. I did look up the telephone number, and it comes back to Buffalo City, New York Taxi Company. I don't know if they still exist. If anybody knows, they can put that in the comments section. But um, so this phone has gone through some changes because this is a, what does that um, TL mean? Well, it's like, it's a pre, it's a... Pre, pre, not precinct. Yeah, it's the... Uh, exchange. Exchange. Yeah, it's an exchange. So I don't know what TL2 means, but somebody out there might know. Um, and so this was an office phone, it has an extension, so, and it also has an area code so that I know that this phone has been updated throughout the years. So, um, but anyway, I thought that was cool. Metal dial, porcelain um, number, numbers on the back, uh, a, a, you know, a, a steel a finger stop. But this is a Bakelite handset. And on the, on the, when you take the handset off, you see these two, uh, this is a hook switch, and those are also made of Bakelite. So there's quite a bit of, you know, old school materials in this telephone. The reason why they call it a Lucy phone is that 
when I Love Lucy aired back in the 50s, they um, um, used this telephone on the desk in the living room. So I thought that was pretty interesting as well. So they call it the Lucy phone. On the bottom of this phone, it has some nice soft leather, I think they were suede at one time, feet so they didn't scratch the wooden desks back in the day. And um, so these telephones, you can get to work. Uh, for the most part, it is what they call analog. Uh, a lot of places you cannot dial out um, if you're on a digital system. But we have developed a way to dial out, or there is a way to dial out using Bluetooth and modern electricity. So you can hook this phone up to your smartphone by using one of these cell to jacks devices, and they're available on Amazon or on eBay, or just, uh, you know, if you're just shopping around a little bit and um, come up with one of these. So it turns your rotary dial telephone, which is analog, into digital. So I thought that was kind of cool. So right now we have this Bluetooth and it's plugged in for electricity to um, my uh, brother who's right here, his cell phone. And we're also using my home telephone number so we can, because my cell phone obviously is recording this. So I wanna show people that they can actually have an antique, working antique in their homes um, and that they, you know, they can use it. Now, if you have an analog system, I mean, if you have an analog, I, analog system, you could use this telephone, no problem. Plug it in, it, you can talk and dial and all kinds of stuff. But if you're on digital, it will work for receiving only. You can, it'll ring, it, you can pick it up and talk to somebody, but you cannot dial out. So that's why you, you would probably need to have one of these if you wanna make it a working telephone. So we're going to demonstrate that. So we're going to actually make this telephone ring right now. And how I'm gonna do it is I'm going to call my brother who's on this phone and I'm gonna call his um, cell phone. So let's give that a try. I love the sound of the ring. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and answer it. Hello? Should be able to hear you. Yeah, I hear you just fine. I mean, it works fine. great. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how it dials out using the Celta Jack. Okay, so I got it to work. Call from the Antoni Joseph. Hello. Hello. So it does yeah. work. Yeah. All righty. Thank you, Joe, for your help. Anyway, so I just wanted to show you that this is how you can get an antique phone to work into your own home. This particular phone is for sale on my Macari, which is in my um, description. So um, I hope you all had a wonderful weekend and I hope you have a wonderful week. So enjoy.